Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And as you can see behind me, I got some new wheels. Um, these are Work Emotion ZR10s in 18 by 9.5 with a 38 offset. These are wrapped in Michelin Pilot 4S, which I believe are kind of the best uh, tires for this combo. A quick update, um, the channel's doing... <laughs> you want to talk to? You want to talk? Yeah, he wants to talk. Um, so yeah, so the t the channel's growing pretty good. Um, right now we're at, we're at seven hundred and twenty one subscribers, and I hope you guys can please let your friends or family know and help me get um, get to a thousand subscribers so I can monetize my channel and have a little bit more money for car stuff. Um, yeah, he likes to get subscribed too. So hope you guys can help me reach a thousand subscriber. That would be so awesome. Um, yeah, and for today's episode, I'm gonna talk to you guys about how to get your TPMS um, recalibrated for your car when changing out either new tires and and wheel combos or changing to winter wheels or your multiple wheel sets that you want to switch out constantly and yeah the only thing about TPMS is that when you need to have it calibrated you have to take it to the shop and sometimes the, shop, sometimes the shops um, is gonna charge some some fees or charge some money for it and I know a few shops that you can do it for free yeah or you can buy that reprogramming tool uh, off Amazon and reprogram it at your house so you can do it uh, on however you want it and how often you want it so yeah um, I'm kind of not have that much money for that TBMS reprogramming tool so I'm going to show you guys the cheaper way to have your car recalibrated yeah so let's follow along and enjoy the show see you guys later well as you guys can see it's pretty dirty so I'm going to show you guys how to clean up these wheels to look brand new alright let's go Alright, so the first thing we're going to use is the PNS Brake Buster. So we're going to use the PNS Brake Buster Total Wheel Cleaner. This works really well on wheels and tires. Um, and these are pretty cheap. I think this costs like 20 or 30 dollars for this whole gallon and you don't really need that much fluid clean you just need to mix like half of this and half of the water and apply it onto the wheels and the dust will just comes off and it's looking brand new so i'll show you guys how it works in a bit so i've added the solution into the spray bottle and uh, mix it half and half water i've used quite a bit right now so this is um, the last bit of it so let's spray so I'll cover the wheels with the solution you don't need that much so I like to cover the wheels the tires a generous amount and I'll first work on the tire first. some more just a little bit keep washing until there's no 
until there's white bubbles. Next, we are gonna spray some on the inside as well. And we'll do a scrub, scrub down on the inside. Alright, so now we have that done. We're gonna do it the front side now. Little goes a long way. looking much better already all right so now I'm going in with the microfiber towel and clean the west of wheel so as you can see I cannot get rid of these things I don't know what they are I think they're cars Oh. oh, just ripped up one. Maybe I can rip out this one too. Looks like a plastic knife. Yeah, plastic knife works. Alright, looks like I got most of these off by using to a plastic thing to scrape off it. And I hope I didn't damage the surface, but, but nobody's gonna look at the back side of the, the inside of the wheel. So, yeah, I think I got most of it out. So that's one down and three to go. I'll see you guys back in, out there and finish. All right. All right. So once we have our wheels all cleaned and prepped, we're gonna we're gonna ceramic coat this using the Gion Pure ceramic coating. This I've been using this on the car and. And I applied this on the car for I think more than two years now and it still beats water and I just love this. So for the next one after I use everything on it, I'm gonna try something new. And if you guys have any any suggestions on ceramic coatings, let me know. Um so yeah, so I still have half a bottle left. So let's get into it our applicator and we'll start it with just a smirch in the center and we'll work our way section by section
Hey guys, so it's been 24 hours since the ceramic coated has been put on the wheels. So this is the last step of ceramic coating. Um, you can see it's really, really shiny and clean. It's just got one last step, which is using the cure on top of the clear coat, on top of the um, ceramic coating. Shake it up. And spray it. I think that's good enough. Then we wipe it down with a microfiber towel. Alright, once we're done here, we're gonna flip it and we're gonna do the inside wall. So, start. Good enough. Give it a good wipe. It's looking really clean and really shiny right now. All right, so we have the uh, wheels all finished with the ceramic coating. Now we're gonna install the tire, but before that, we're gonna need some lug nuts. So the lug nuts I got is the Mutegi SR45R, which is these. Um, the reason I choose these is because um, there's a few criteria I'm looking for in a lug nut, which is the um, I kind of like the brand name that is well known that's not gonna break. Um, I had Mutegi on my car for almost 10 years and they still works. And also I'm looking for a two piece design which um, the end part here kind of rotates when you, so when you are tightening up the lug nuts, these won't scratch your new tire, new wheel setups. And I want to have a open-ended lug nut, or I can turn that into a closed lug nut, so the bolts on the so the studs won't rust. So these are sold separately, but I, in my opinion, these should have come together with the with the lug nuts. And these are these are pretty good for the price. I paid both of these around 160, I think $160. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about these. Don't forget about the hub centric rings.
looks good on the car. But I'm a little bit worried about here. It looks like it's gonna rub. So I might need to roll my fenders. But these are 265, so. I don't know, will it rub? It looks like it's gonna rub. Well, I don't know. I might need to roll my fenders. It's a little bit too wide. Well, the last step is to install these. The lug nut caps. Mom, um, I say these look pretty really dope. Really clean looking. Compared to these, my rust and covered. They're all in. I'm surprised they. I'm surprised to say that these look great. Do you guys agree? All I need is left is the um, the center cap for the wheels, and we can call it done. Otherwise, check out these. These look so good on the WRX. I'm so happy with these. I'm just a little scared that they might rub on the um, on the fenders. So I might need a, yeah, I'll go for a little drive and see if it rubs. I mean, it looks like it's gonna rub if more people's gonna sit in the back. So I might have to do some fender working. Roll the, fen when, roll the fenders a little bit. Yeah, overall. These are beautiful. Look at these. So nice. Check out from the front. I'm not sure. I might go a little, get a smaller tire or roll the fenders. We'll see. So a little quick update. Um, so the tires do rub. Uh, as you can see, it's rubbing. On this side. Yeah, I have to pull the fender, or, I mean, roll the fenders, and on this side. But on this side is fine, but I still wanted to roll a little bit on, on here. And it looks like it's, yeah, it, it does rub a little bit on this side too. Let's go over this side. This side is fine. But then if you look here, ouch, that's huge. There's a lot of uh, rubbing and scrubbing on this side. It's poking out a lot on this side, I'm not sure why. All right, so before I take my car to reset and we learn the um, TPMS on the car. I'm gonna have to take these off, roll the fenders, and I'm just gonna use my um, 
use my stock wheels right now until I get this um, rolled up and fit it perfectly because right now I can't drive it I'm rubbing and I might um, kill, either kill the tires or fucked up my fenders yeah otherwise it looks great it's just I think the tires a little bit too wide um, might need to go down might need to go down to 255 35 18. yeah it's it sucks that I have to put these back and use the stock again yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this episode and maybe and make sure to subscribe to my channel I'm almost at the thousand uh, subscriber and I'll need all the help I can to get up to a thousand so please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on our next episode and and I think in the next episode I'm gonna roll the fenders and take the car to reset the TPMS and enjoy the new wheels all right see you guys next time bye